Michelle of Payong Musikero, your dose of music instruction, information, and inspiration. Welcome to Titik at Tono, Batch 2, wherein we feature original songs composed by the participants of our online songwriting workshop here at Payong Musikero. I'm very, very, very excited to share with you their works. I have uh, two 11-year-old students, a 12-year-old, a 14-year-old, and three young adults, and their works are all amazing. I am not exaggerating. I don't think I can write a song like that when I was 11 years old. I was surprised actually with the melodies that they came up with and and also um, they did their own videos, their performance videos, and some even did an animation. Hindi ko alam kung ano ba kinakain ng mga bata ngayon, bakit napakagaling nila. But uh, this just shows that age is just a number, you're never too young or never too old to learn and develop a new skill. So, um, what else? Oh, I did something new this batch because uh, two of my students wanted to hear their songs in with complete instruments. So I connected them with producer Mikey Amistoso of Shudad and also producer Jeremiah De Leon. So watch out for that songs. And uh, plus, I will give you a special treat because I will share with you a clip of my interview with singer-songwriter Lee Brown of Victory Worship. He is one of the people behind the famous worship songs we sing in church today, such as Lilim, Awit ng Bayan, uh, Your Love is Greater, among others. So he will be sharing some insights and tips in songwriting. So let's start, ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the works of our finishers here at Titik Atono. Hi, my name is Martha Gutierrez. I am a grade 6 student who loves arts and anime. The song Hope is about appreciation for our environment and how I wanted to stay positive despite the unwanted things brought by this pandemic. Enjoy! The sky is a big canvas of life Sometimes filled with joy Sometimes with strife With sun It makes every day exciting With moon It makes the moon frightening Yet when the night stars light the sky Still makes me wanna fly I wanna soar through the bed of clouds While listening to my favorite sounds No one can live in my dream I'm all out for this or I will scream I can see the birds in the horizon Standing in great diversion Being one with nature is the best thing Some days are filled with rain. Open my heart, will remain. 
I'm Mishka Cervantes, I'm 14, and I'm in the ninth grade. My song is called Dance All Night, and I wrote it as a somewhat comfort song to myself and to the listener. It's a reminder that you don't have to do big things to be happy. And you can do things like dancing or laughing or seeing a person that you love. And it's a reminder that there's still peace and love and hope in the world no matter how negative things seem. It started out as thoughts to myself, talking to myself, like, oh, everything's gonna be okay. You'll feel better soon. And I hope that somehow that's what it makes a person feel. So, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> hope you enjoy.
Hi, my name is Ira and I'm 11 years old. Um, my song is entitled I Will Stand Up and uh, it all start how I came up with this song, it all started when I joined this event and someone was saying lots of mean things to me. I decided not to talk because I felt like it would just make it even worse. Then at the end, I was the one who missed out on everything. It destroyed my mood and confidence. This song is a reminder for me and for others to not be afraid when you need to speak up. Thank you, Coach Estelle. You're such a blessing. I've always been afraid Walking on thin ice Afraid to make mistakes I've always been nice I sit alone She was just a dream, but the feeling's very real. I've been so used to hiding, strength and leaving me. If I go on with all this, I'll lose a sense of me. But now it's time, enough is enough. Oh, I will stand up. Hey ya! My name is Zion Ben Maliari. I am 18 years old and this is our roof. Thank you so, so much once again for joining us. The title of my song is Waiting. And that's exactly what it's about. Waiting. But for what or who is the question my fictional character has decided to answer. I do hope you enjoy and I have to get off of this roof now. Goodbye. And I have to walk back anyway to turn this off. I did not think that through. sunshine and I see the stars shine I stare at the moonlight and I wonder how I can make it mine and I stay inside I've 
hope it won't be never waiting this hard if you don't know what you're waiting for waiting is hard waiting for something to wait for story of what passes in the blink of an eye and I cry and I wonder why all these thoughts they run in my head while I'm at home then I feel your arms around me and I hear you tell me it's gonna be alright so don't you sigh and I close my eyes I am home it's not too bad and it will get better because for you the answer someone Wow, the future is definitely bright with our young songwriters, as you can see. Before I present to you the works of our next four finishers, let us hear from singer-songwriter Lee Brown from Victory Worship as he shares his tips in songwriting. Lee Brown is a worship leader and a songwriter for Victory Worship and the music ministry leader in Victory Fort Bonifacio. He's also a key contributor for Every Nation Music and their songwriting community. Previous to what he's currently doing, Lee was a finalist in the ABS-CBN singing contest called Search for a Star in a Million way back in 2005. He is also a well-traveled musician who has performed in many places in the Philippines and the world with different bands. As part of Every Nation Music Community, Lee serves and helps the next generation of singers, musicians, and songwriters to become better while passionately sharing his faith in God. Get to know the person behind the songs, Lilim, Safe, Heart Open Wide, Awit ng Bayan. Pakinggan natin si Lee Simon Brown dito lang sa Payong Musikero. So please welcome Mr. Lee Brown! Yes, Lee, well, welcome sa Kwentuhang Musiko dito sa Payong Musikero. So, kamusta ka na? Uh, mabuti. Uh, katulad ng marami sa ating lahat, no? uh, andito ako, naka-quarantine pa. Uh, ang dami na namin natutunan. Natuto na kami mag-bake, natuto na kami mag-set up ng ganito, may ilaw, dati. 
kapakanta-kanta lang. Ngayon, ikaw na yung director, ikaw na yung editor. So, masaya. Maraming nangyari ngayong uh, quarantine season na pwede pa rin namin ipagpasalamat. Lalo-lalo na siguro yung time with the family. So, yun yung pinaka-blessing for me. Gusto ko lang i-share sa kanila, no? Like, your journey also as a songwriter. Kailan ka nag-start magsulat? Kasi I know that you've been singing and you love music. And, but as a songwriter, when did it develop? Wow. Um, actually, if I, if I can call myself this, no? Actually, medyo late bloomer ako sa pagiging songwriter. Simula nung, sabi ko nga kanina, simula nung bata ako, ang gusto ko lang, maging magaling na singer. Maging magaling na singer. Singer ako, singer ako, singer ako. So, yung identity na yon nandun lang siya sa akin. Uh, kaya kong himay-himayin yung music. Paano ba to? Ano ba yung nangyari dito? Natutunan ko yun. Pero yung songwriter, parang hindi naman siguro ako yun. Hindi, ako, hindi siguro ako marunong magsulat. Until, uh, you know, I became a worship leader. And as a church, uh, naramdaman lang ng leaders namin na ito na yung panahon para magsulat tayo ng sarili nating kanta. And, Nag-share lang, sila ng, nag-share lang sila ng vision about the impact that this can make when we write our own songs. And to cut the long story short, I took that vision to heart. And I said, I think I want to run with this vision. Pinagdasal ko lang sa Panginoon na, Lord, pasulatin mo naman ako ng kanta. Patryin mo naman ako magsulat ng kanta. Hanggang sa natuto nga ako magsulat. In fact, yung mga unang moments na nagsulat kami ng kanta sa church, kasama ko rin si Ninang Asel doon. So... <laughs> Kasama ako uh, Di ba? Yung, yung mga panahon na yun. Very first one, Susulat tayo ng, uh, ng captivating beauty. Uh, ano pa ba yun? Yung kinanta mo? Uh, as I am. Yun, naalala ko pa yun. Oo. Tapos, uh, magtuloy-tuloy lang. Hanggang sa maraming taong nag-encourage sa akin na sumulat ng sumulat. I surrounded myself with people who can write songs and ask their advice. And then I tried it whenever I'm with them and whenever I'm also not with them. So in my own personal space, I also took the time to write songs. And I just tried and tried and tried. Ang, minsan nakakatawa yung nasulat ko. May katunog na naman. Pero okay lang. Basta si, tinanggap, nagsimula lang siya doon. Tinanggap ko lang yung vision. I took it to heart. And then I said, I want to run with this vision. And so it started with the small things again. And then, uh, ulit, ulit. You know, it led to where, yeah, it led to where I am now. Ang galing. No? So, uh, what can you advise kaya pa yung mga nagsisimula pa lang magsulat? You know, sometimes songwriters think, you know, my, my songs, may, may magagawa bang impact to? May, am I gonna change the world? Am I gonna, I don't know, just do something positive or of value to, to others? I want you to know na the songs that we write, they don't just help us become better people. Who knows how to express ourselves, no? But it helps other people also put words and articulate the emotions that they actually feel, but they just don't have words for it. You know, when you become a songwriter, you make that kind of impact. And so don't ever think that, you know, songwriters are you have, have no value in the society or you're of lesser value than an engineer or a doctor you know when you when you're good at it and when you continue to excel at it i believe that it's only a, it's not a matter of if but a matter of when uh, that your songs will make an impact uh, not just for yourself but the others around you uh, just don't stop don't stop writing it's a journey and you become good at something when you are you're faithful in in really doing it doon sa years na yon no ano yung pinaka take home mo Uh, bukod sa mga na-share ko na, meron akong dalawa na tingin ko maganda pang i-share sa mga nanonood at mga nakikinig nito. Number one is, when the difficult time comes, naalala nyo kanina sabi natin, you know, we, we, you know, that purpose or that vision is not from us. It's actually from the Lord. It's not driven by money. It's not driven by fame. But it's something that comes from the Lord. And sometimes, you go through life in that purpose that you've received in your heart becomes so small and the problems, the trials becomes bigger. Always choose to see that purpose and that vision of yours bigger than anything you will ever, ever, ever go through in life. The gap or the difference between the next level you and where you are right now is your willingness to see that vision bigger than the problem that you're facing. You just have to endure and use that pain 
and that trial and that limitation of yours as a means to actually proving to everyone that your, your God is still bigger and His plans for you are, are far better than whatever it is that you're going through. And the last thing that I want to say is this. Ang bait lang talaga ng Panginoon. Siya lang talaga yung dahilan. Kung ba't pa ako nandito? Walang ibang dahilan. Wala akong mapagmamayabang, wala akong mabubunot sa bulsa. It is just the grace and the faithfulness of God in my life. And that's my hope for you, that you will indeed encounter His faithfulness. Oh, wow! Thank you so much, Lee. Yeah, I hope I can guest you again. Thank you. Hi, Mandy Moran. I'm 12 years old and I'm grade, in grade 7. And this song is called I Believe in You. And it's a worship song. And this song is about how I believe in what God says and His promises in the Bible. And yeah, I hope you enjoy my song. Bye. that blooms and prospers he says and i believe the promises that's for me your word is true and i believe in you i know and i believe the promises that's for me your word is true the end um, I wrote it I wrote it because um, I hear especially around this time since you know 2020 and there's a pandemic and then there were many crazy things at the beginning of the year I heard many people tell me or just say in general that the world was ending and it's so the song is just about me wondering if this is really the end so thank you I hope you enjoy
Hi everyone, I'm Shekaina Shalombakata and I am 24 years old. I'm a sales officer in Union Bank, Baguio. Um, about this song, uh, it's a happy song for me, although all the friends na nakarinig nung kandang to, they said na ang sad daw, ganyan. But for me, it's a happy song because it talks about healing and it talks about um, choosing to heal, ganyan. It's actually my advice to everyone na pinagdadaanan din yung pinagdadaanan ko. Um, to forgive and forget, to not dwell on your past anymore. Um, and the first verse actually kind of gives away the summary of the song. Pero um, as the song progresses, it kind of talks about yung healing process mismo and um, yung reality ng proseso. Ganyan. And this is my personal story, um, but I chose to write it in a third-person point of view because I want um, everyone na makakarinig na ma-personalize yung song kung pinagdadaanan din nila yung pinagdadaanan ko. I hope you enjoy the song and magets gets nyo yung perspective ko na happy yung kanta.
I'm Sherina Pomoceno, 41 years old from Amadeo Cavite, working as a project manager. I show a lighted candle in the dark and I came up with a song, Back Home. Back Home is written from the perspective of someone who passed away. Think of this as their message of love and words of comfort to those they left behind. To give you assurance that they're gone back home, they're happy where they are now, and they carry no grudges, but only love. Don't you ever think I breathe my last breath alone I found comfort in knowing I'm loved back home It's warm and cold It touched my soul Struggled with no one to hold The Lord had told me a stories about to unfold From the day I was born Till the day I was told
There you have it guys, those are the works of our finishers here at Pai Musiqueros Online Songwriting Workshop here at Titik Atono. Thank you for joining us. So please do follow us on our Instagram account and Facebook page, Pai Musiquero. And we also have a YouTube channel. Please do subscribe for more music information, instruction, and inspiration. We feature musicians and they share their tips in all about music and also they share their stories at Quintuhang Musico. So please do visit our YouTube channel, Payo Musiquero, and don't forget to click subscribe. Thank you once again. I'm Asel. Have a good day. Until next time.